Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome, my name is Katie, and this is my second spooky haul. So I'm actually going to put these two shops together because they are technically together because apparently you can't have one without the other. And one of them I got a small haul and the other I got a big haul. So I'm going to combine the two. So that is TK Maxx and HomeSense. I would lift the HomeSense bag, but it's really heavy. <laughs> so if you would like to see what I got from TK Maxx and HomeSense this year for 2023, then make sure you keep on watching because my TK Maxx was pants, but HomeSense were killing it. So I can't wait to show you what I got. Um, and again, as a disclaimer, these things, well, the home sense was brought all together because that was kind of Adam's present to me for our wedding anniversary. The TK Maxx stuff I bought from multiple shops, and yeah, TK Maxx was rubbish, but home sense was amazing. So I'm going to get into this haul because I'm really, really excited to show you what I got. So I am going to start off with the TK Maxx bag because there's not as much in there. <laughs> so, first off, um, I got this cupcake kit because I want to do some spooky baking this year. Uh, these are kind of like the wraparounds that you put around the cases. So I think I've got some base, basic cupcake cases that I could use to put these around. And then you've got just some little choppers. If you're doing a Halloween party or something like that, these would be very good. So you get 24 pieces, 12 of each. Um, and I thought it was really good. So it's by, I think it's Brooklyn Steel Co. Um, and it's three ninety nine. And I actually got this in Blackpool, um, Blackpool TK Maxx. Um, but that, again, that didn't really have much in. So um, I was a bit disappointed, but I'm glad I mean, was able to pick up a few things. So next from TK Maxx, I got this small candle because in home sense I went I went a bit wild with the candles <laughs> so I thought when we went into TK Maxx I'll just get a small one and this is by DW Home and it is apple pumpkin and it's just a simple red candle with the gold artistic lid. I do love this lid and I do I did start collecting the lids last year and this one oh, it's really really nice. What's that? <laughs> um, just plain white candle, um, but it does smell nice. It's obviously got the apple scent. It's not too like overly strong with the sweetness, so this will be a bit more of a kind of break in between the the sweeter scents because I am more of a sweet scent of candle than a fresh scent of candle, and that was three ninety nine as well. Next. I will show you what I got in Ando TK Maxx. I've got two of these, but I'll just get one out to show you. Um, and yeah, at the time we couldn't find anything in Ando TK Maxx, which is spooky, witchy, Halloween-y. Um, and it's still not great now, but um, can you get this label off? I think can get this label off without like leaving any of it on. There, managed to get it off. So I've got a set of two of these because I went with my friend Kirsty, and um, we got this a set of two because she said if I come on for a couple, we've got two of the same. <laughs> so it's this glass mug and it's kind of witchy themed. So it's kind of like sun and moon and stars. So so pretty. Um again I think it's 3 99 I have to wash that because I've got the sticky residue on. Um, so yeah, I've got two of these glass mugs. Again, I think they're three ninety nine each, so quite decent price. So I've got two of those, and then whilst in Blackpool, I actually managed to find like a normal mug <clears throat> because I. Haven't been able to find any spooky mugs 
that I've liked in TK Maxx and in HomeSense. I didn't find any mugs, but I managed to find this one in Blackpool. Um, I don't know who it's by, but it is this mug. It, it's got skulls on and it's absolutely stunning. So it's got the gold rim at the bottom, gold rim at the top, gold handle, and it was four ninety nine. So I thought that wasn't too bad for the size of it. That would do a decent uh, hot chocolate or something in it, or coffee. Um, so yeah, I don't actually have that much skull stuff. Obviously it's got flowers on it as well. So yeah, that was my mug for my TK Maxx. And that's the other glass. And the last thing from TK Maxx. Um, I got in Blackpool <laughs> and I probably didn't need another one of these but I hadn't seen this one before and he can join the family. Um, so it's my new best friend and it's a gonk. I know I'm a bit hypocritical because I think two years ago I didn't really like them but now I'm starting to get like a family of gonks. So we have I thought he was like vampire-esque because he's got this little bat wand but maybe he could be a wizard but um, so he's got a grey hat on with embroidered stars and moons on the hat is bendable as well so you can like make it so he's got more of a crooked hat um, he's got a black cape on and then he's got a little bat wand and yeah, really soft, glittery beard. So yeah, it's my new friend. <laughs> um, he was nine ninety nine, which I think is quite standard for this kind of size donk. Um, so yeah, where should I put him? Will be seen here. No, nope. I will put him to move my ghost sign. Put that up there. Can we fit him there? Bend your hat, mate. There, you can stay there for now. So that was everything that I got from TK Maxx. Now, Home Sense is a very heavy bag, so I have to put it on the floor slightly because I don't want it to fall over. So, Home Sense was amazing like I could have bought so much but I'd already bought quite like already put quite a lot in the trolley um I'm going to start off with the, one of the biggest things in this haul and I absolutely love it I wanted it last year but I couldn't find it and I couldn't get it anywhere so when I saw it in there Adam was like oh it's your money you get what you want <laughs> and it is you might have seen it on social media the humongous ghost cushion and he's so starved. Um, he is by Sweet Street and he's a decorative pillow so I think he's going to be sitting in Louis's vegan seat in the living room and he was $14.99 which I didn't think was too bad because look at the size of that cushion <laughs> and he honestly I was hugging him like all in one shop um, and yeah love him so much and I've decided to name him Geralt after Geralt the Witcher so he is Geralt the Ghost <laughs> and I can't stop shaking him so he was fourteen ninety nine, and he is definitely worth it for the size of it and the quality like he's a really big plump cushion so um I was very very happy to see him in the shop I think there are like variations of him I think you can get different faces and they have brought out coloured ones, like pink and purple, I think. And I think there is a one that's holding a pumpkin as well. But at the time, I only saw this one. So I'm very happy with Geralt. <laughs> so Geralt can go and sit over there. Thankful. Right, next, I will go to one of these packs of bunting. Because I think I've said before, I bought some hooks off Amazon which I stuck to multiple windows in the house. 
with the intention of putting bunting up on them. So if you've seen the Sheen Hall, I've got some ghost bunting, which I think one might go in the kitchen and then the other might go in here or in the living room. But I've got two buntings here as well. So I can switch out. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this one is this kind of ghost pumpkin bat bunting and it is material. Well, they call it a garland. Um, and yeah, so they're kind of soft bunting. I haven't got it out because I wanted to show you guys before I got it out of the box. Um, so it says it's a six six foot garland, 183 centimetres. Um, I might just quickly open it just so I can see, see the quality of the um, decorative parts of the bunting, if I can open it. I have literally this stuff has been in bags and I want it to fill hauls but it's been super busy in the summer holidays so um, this has been my one chance to do some filming for you guys. So, oh these feel so soft. Can I get one out to show you? You got a ghost. So this is an example. So they're like little, like fluffy, well not fluffy, like soft um, but parts of the bunting. I think they're made from like felt, because this bit feels like felt, um, but this bit is all like bobbly. So that kind of looks so cool with the window. Oh, I can't wait to put all this out. Um, and so this is by, uh, I'm trying to put this back together. So this is by Goblin and Ghoul, this bunting, and as I said it says it's 183 centimetres or 6 foot, so that should definitely cover the big windows in the bungalow. So I've got this one, and that was 10.99. so again obviously reusable, constantly keeping it in nice, trying to keep it in boxes or keeping it nice in storage. Um, and they'll be amazing to keep using in a bit of time. So I did get another one because I thought I've got three windows that I want to decorate. So um, I got this one, which is pumpkins and ghosts. And this one is by Goodish, and it's the same um, measurement in length. So this one was also 10.99. Um, I think these ones look more like of the knitted style. Um, I'm so jealous of all like stores in America. Um, I'd love to go there one day and um, bring back stuff like which would be sentimental. But um, yeah, so this one's actually I didn't I didn't actually see the bats because they were camouflaged. But um, let's see. Yeah, these are definitely more like of a knitted style. They just got a pumpkin out. So more. Let's see more of a knitted aesthetic design wise but like still really good it's like really plump again i think it's partially made from felt but still really great like um design wise the face of the pumpkin is sewn on so yeah i'm really really happy with that and um, as you i think you can just see there the string on that one is like black and white whereas the other one is more like hessian type string so i'm very excited to have these out and you will have a decorate with me vlog coming i don't know if i have to do it in two parts because i have the halloween tree which will be here and then i'll have the whole decorate in the house so it's going to be quite a task this year so two garlands um i will start to show you the candles because i did get multiple candles from home sense <laughs> So we'll go to this one first. This one is by Sand and Fog. So Sand and Fog and DW Home, I think, are the prominent candles that come out with the different seasons scents. Um, and they're American, so obviously they'll bring over the stuff from America to the UK. Um, inspired on the California coast, and this one is 
Enchanted. This home at 8 99 and Sand and Fog and DW Home are known for decorating their lids. So, this way. So, that is the artwork on this lid. So beautiful. And as I said, I collect the lids. Um, oh, so nice. So, this one reminds me of kind of like popcorn, it's got a caramel scent. Um, sweet and savoury. I don't know if it actually tells you what the um, scent is. It's the lid. 100% uh, cotton wick, sustainable wood lid, made of natural essential oils. Um, and then I've got like a little message on the lid which says, At Sand and Fog, we often enjoyed using art to add finishing touches to the homes we design. These painted lids allow us to combine our love of art with our passion for candles. These are created by artists who have inspired us with their talent. Whether they are students, nurses or full-time artists, they are helping us to make the world a more beautiful place. So that is really, really nice. Have that little message from there. And as I said, these are decorative lids as well. So you literally could make like a collage out of them, maybe use them as coasters. I'm not sure if you're using as coasters. Maybe, but I wouldn't want to ruin the lid. <laughs> so I maybe have to might have to think of um something to do with the lids one day. So that is candle number one. I'll do another candle and then I'll talk about something else. So candle number two is this one, and it is called Witch's Spell. And I immediately thought when this candle is used, or if I don't want to put it away with all the other stuff. It can go on my um, potion shelf, and it actually says what the scent of the candle is. Um, sweet, uh, sugared vanilla, pure warm honey, freshly toasted almonds, and golden butter. And this one was seven ninety nine, so that's the size for that one. Comes with a cork lid. Oh. Smell <laughs> honestly, the candles that come over from America for spooky season are absolutely amazing. Um, honestly, smells so good. So, we go witch's spell. Um, I immediately I think I saw it on social media and wanted to try and find it. Um, and then just the whole aesthetic of it, I know it will fit right in with my potion shelf once it's used or if I don't use it all it can sit up, sit up there for next year. So that is candle number two. I will go to the only kitchenware item that I could find. I've been seeing all this stuff on social media and my shops near me don't have half as much as other people's so I was really bit sad but this is going to be great for my spooky baking and I'm hoping to find some other little plates and things um, at some point but I managed to find this spider plate and yeah I'm really really happy with it it's a simple plate with a spider in the middle this is going to look so good like putting like maybe on ginger biscuits or something like that um does it say by it's by no it's by it's microwave and dishwasher safe but it doesn't say who it's by, so that's a bit sad. Um, so yeah, my only piece of kitchenware in this haul, and this is nine ninety nine, which I think is quite good because obviously it's you're probably paying extra because it's an extra design, but it's obviously decent quality because it's come from HomeSense. So I was very very happy to find some sort of plate or bowl. Well, I wanted to find like a few plates and maybe a bowl but I think some of the other stores are starting to come out with um, bits and bobs so then they hope, hopefully there'll be, there might be a Home Bargains haul at some point um, because I did buy two things from Home Bargains in Blackpool but I want to save them for like a bigger haul if I go to Home Bargains so yeah <laughs> um, 
I will go back to candles and I'll talk about this one next. This one, Adam actually liked this one, so I picked it up so he could have a candle he liked. Um, <laughs> again, it was 9 99 and this one is again by DW Home. It looks like a coffee cup, so once the candle's used, you can use it for storage. I don't think you can use it to drink off because this is only like a silicon um, lid. But candy corn latte is the scent of this one. And oh, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. I think that's why Adam liked it. It's not too like overly strong, but um, absolutely loved it. And it looks really nice. <laughs> Even if you just had it, obviously it'll be out on display when you burn it, but um, yeah, really, really liked that one. But next, I will show you is that oh, it's not somewhere else. The, they're not called glitter, they're called glitter globes, not snow globes, because obviously they're for Halloween. Um, and this one, um, okay. Good stuff. Um, Adam actually pointed this one out. We saw one at first, and then Adam saw this one. This one we thought was much better for the price because of the size of it. And it was twelve ninety nine, and I think that's an absolute steal for this globe. It is by Bella Lux, and it is this humongous glitter globe. It says on the uh, label. And it's got kind of a spooky moon in it with a cobweb and a hat. And the glitter has actually started to stick on the side. So that is how beautiful it looks when the glitter is going. Give it one more shake. I feel like you don't want to shake it too much because you don't want it to like fly off. how beautiful it is and obviously it's on like a massive stand which is why Adam thought it was better price wise so it's obviously got this base these skulls on the stand like the hold, holding the stand and the actual base itself and yeah it's absolutely massive like you could do some damage with this <laughs> but obviously we won't um, so yeah, a bit more of this kind of spookier globe. I was looking at like the cute ones and Adam was like, oh, this one's really good for the price. So as I said, it's twelve ninety nine for this one. And this one's actually on like a big stand. So that is really good. Um, so I've got two spooky glitter globes now. Um, but yeah, I'll give you one last look at it with the glitter glowing. Beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that over there so I don't drop it because it's actually really heavy. So, um, yeah, that one is probably the, yeah, that's the biggest one we've got so far. And last but not least, for home sense, is my last candle. <laughs> um, again, this is by DW Home. I really like their candles. And this one's six ninety nine, so the cheapest one, apart from the small one, out of the Home Sense haul. So this one is actually called Spooky Season. And it says, creamy and sweet and soft. Del deliciously creamy, gently spiced pumpkin stirred with mascarpone and sweet cane sugar. And as I said, this one is six ninety nine. It's honestly, DW Home are amazing at making candles. I love it. <laughs> and this one's just obviously completely just orange with an orange lid. So, just a little pumpkin on the front. So yeah, that is everything I got. Ah. <laughs> That is everything I got from TK Maxx 
and home sense. Uh, let me know what you thought. As I said, this is a cumulative haul. I haven't bought this all in one go, apart from the home sense stuff, which I did buy in one go, but that was a, a special occasion. So, let me know if you had any favourites in the comments. Do you love your candles? Um, and I'll speak to you very soon in the next one. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. If you're brand new, hello and welcome. Please hit that subscribe button as I'm trying my hardest to get to a thousand subscribers. And as I said, there might be other hauls coming, but if not, there'll be some decorate with me vlogs coming very soon. And I'm thinking I might have to do it in two parts because I have the Halloween tree and then I have decorating the house. <laughs> so because I've got a lot more things to use to decorate this year, um, it's going to take a little bit more planning, I think. But I'm very, very excited. So take care and I'll speak to you very soon in the next one.